welcome to all of you this is sst college of arts and commerce this is sst edupedia myself assistant professor yogesh patil and today we are going to discuss the installation of android studio this is for sybsc computer science subject is android developer fundamentals for semester 4 now what we are going to learn in this session so in this session we are going to see that what you should already know about the android programming or before creating an app by using android studio then what you basically need to know about the programming then what you are going to learn then what will what you will do for the same we will see a basic app review overview and we will see how to install an android studio so friends what you should already know before starting the programming with or app development with android studio so basically you have to understand the general software development process for object oriented application or object oriented programming languages then you have uh, to demonstrate uh, at least one or two or uh, more than that years of experience in the field of object oriented programming why because uh, basically uh, android studio is providing you a platform for creating such kind of projects so you have to know the basic language of such kind of programming then what you will need the very first thing that we will need and any android uh, any operating system like mac or windows or linux for running an android studio you can download android studio by visiting the given slide on the ppt and many of time we need a continuous internet access for uploading or loading a latest version of android studio as well as java installation files for your computer then what you will learn so in this session we are going to discuss that how to install and use android id we will uh, understand the development process for building an android apps and creating an android android projects by using basic templates now what you will do installation of android studio then creating an emulator creating an hello world app or any kind of app or exploring the project layout generating a view or a view log for the statement of your app and you can explore your android manifest xml file in android studio so after creating all these things you will see you are basically creating an app like this so the app which we are going to create it will look like this this will be a very basic app in android studio now let's see uh, how to install android studio so to install android studio basically you have to know about android studio is google's id for developing an android apps android studio is always gives us an advanced code editor and even uh, it has its own templates also so for getting an android app or to run an android app first of all what we need on our computer we need a java developer kit we can install java jdk 7 or any other higher version on our studio uh, on our computer after that what we need we need an android studio in our computer now you can download android studio from the website that is nothing but an developer.android.com here we have you can see the we have one download link over here so you can download your software from this now let's see how to install a jdk for installing jdk what we need first of all we need to turn on our computer with a terminal window there we have to type a java version 
if we have already or pre-installed Java in our computer, then it will be run or it, the Java command will run easily. Otherwise, you have to download a Java from the Java or a Oracle website. The website will look like this. Okay, from here, as you can see, we have uh, Java software uh, AC developer kit for Windows 10 or higher version. We have 10 version. Uh, here we have Linux, Mac OS, Windows. From this, from the gear, given file, we can download the versions. So after downloading the version, you can see uh, a wizard for installing a Java toolkit. So after completing or following the instruction, we can easily download a Java on your computer. <coughs> now. After that, what we have to do? We have to set an environment for the Java. To set an environment, first of all, we have to set a Java home for the installation location. Then we have to start a control panel. Then in control panel, we have to select system, then advanced system settings. And there we have to select environment variable setting system variables. There we can create a new or we can select a new button where we can give a variable name java home a variable value that is c programming c programming files java jdk and the version whatever version we have installed that version's name we have to mention or that folder's name we have to mention over here now where you you can find this file it is very simple just while installation it will give you a path for installing the java file so, in Mac OS, you can open a terminal, then confirm a JDK by typing which Java in a terminal and then you can type a Java version. So, you can get a version or a which version we have installed and then we have to enter a set echo dollar Java underscore home to confirm the path. Now, in Linux, First of all, we need to check whether we have download or whether we have installed the Java without any error. So for that, you can do the basic troubleshooting and then if there is no UI or a control panel, then you can do uh, which has been associated with JDK, then we have to verify that. And then you can directly install or enable the path for the Java in your Linux. Now, let's see after installing a successful Java package or a Java software into your machine, whether it is Windows, Linux or Mac OS. Now we are going to install Android Studio. Friends, keep one thing in mind that installing and Android Studio is common for all platforms. So to install an Android Studio, what you need, first of all, you have to visit Android developer website from there you can get a link or a, you can get a button through which you can download the latest version of an Android studio then <coughs> it will be nearly 900 MB or 1 GB file so that file you will see uh, in your download folder then you can double click on it and then it will start an installation wizard for the Android Studio. Here, as you can see, we have to click on the next button for the setting and Android Studio. Here, we have to check the Android virtual device as well and we have to click on the next button. Then we have to set the path for installing an Android Studio. Friends, you can choose any path. Uh, it's not compulsory that you have to choose a C drive or wherever you are program files or uh, windows has been installed you can choose any other folder also then you have to click on a uh, next here as you can see by default it will show an android studio in your text box for the folder then click on install after successful installation it will enable the next button and after clicking on next button 
it will start the an android studio so as you can see the start android studio that checkbox is already enabled that option is already enabled so you have to click on finish then it will automatically start with the latest version whatever you have installed in your windows or a operating system so it will start with then android studios latest version then it will show one basic message then you have to click on the next in next it will ask you to choose a standard or a customized theme for an android studio so we will choose st uh, standard theme here we have two different themes that is dracula or light so you can choose any of one of this then it will show whatever the setting we have for your, our android studio it will display over here how many uh, memory space we have used that also it will list then we have to click on a finish button after that it will start downloading required component from the net as we have discussed earlier you need an continuous error free internet access for android studio then it will start an android studio on your computer by clicking on start a new project you can start with your android project so friends in next video we will learn about how to create an android basic android project so thank you thank you very much and please subscribe our channel